This weekend, we're building the ultimate fishing boat. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> we started throwing out ideas. Should we build it out of wood? Should we build it out of aluminum? Uh, raft, build a raft. What about this? Turn the truck cap upside down and it is a boat. It just kind of clicked that we use a truck cap, flipping it upside down and making that our boat. Well, the truck cap boat is kind of a strange one for sure, but uh, the reason I'm on board with this is I'm getting Junior to pay for half of the truck cap that I want for the winter. I just have to keep him from wrecking it. We're gonna turn this truck cap upside down and turn it into the ultimate fishing boat. After we test the flotation, we're gonna seal all the leaks. Then we'll start by adding seating, the fishing rod holders. Next, we'll add a sun cover, a barbecue for cooking fish, a motor, and a fish finder, so we can search the lake for fish and beer. So when we got the truck cap home, first thing we did was flip it off and throw it in the lake just to test it, see what was gonna happen. Both of us were a little bit unsure. Hey. I think because of the giant surface area, it didn't actually draw that much water. It's probably only two inches, just barely above the seals of the windows. The more weight we add to that boat, the higher the water level creeps up the back window. And if that goes underwater, the thing's gonna fill up with water very quickly. If we keep it light, you know, a motor, a battery, two guys, and a couple fishing rods, this boat's gonna work. Just putting a little uh, caulk on the boat. Kevin and I have been a little bit hesitant about making a boat. To actually build a proper boat takes a lot of skill, a lot of time, and a lot of effort, and we don't have uh, much of any of those things. So taking a truck cap, flipping it upside down, and calling it a boat is uh, right up our alley. These are gonna be the seats for the truck cap boat, and uh, just putting them in the corners. So when it's in uh, truck cap mode, this is obviously gonna be upside down, and these will turn into little shelving units. When you flip this up, tops of these will then be like shelves inside the camper. Build's come along uh, really well. Next steps are to get our gear together and get out on the lake. Uh, yeah, I figured we need some uh, sun cover when we're out on the lake. It's a blistering hot day today, so uh, we want to put uh, some sunshade on this thing. So I was just trying a couple different ideas, uh, the old windsurfer sail that we have, a couple other things, but I think we're just going to go with a regular pop-up umbrella. If the wind gets going, we can also use it as a sail to kind of pull us where we want to go. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's like it weighs a ton now, man. The boat's a lot heavier now than it was when we first tested it, so we're gonna find out really quickly if uh, we're going to the bottom. On board the vessel, we've got our trusty electric motor, a little battery box, some corner seating, a couple places for the rods, a middle seat with coolers underneath, barbecue attached. We've got this umbrella, which is a sunshade. Let's do it. Go. We can improve the launch. Hey, definitely. And away we go. All right. I like this. Yeah, it's pretty comfy. We found out our boat's really comfortable and, and kind of fun. Boy, the sails. The umbrella was nice. I like being out of the sun. Definitely. Can't believe how a little water it draws. Got quite a bit of weight in here now. Yeah, the sealant on the back took care of that. Yeah. Nice night for fishing. Oh, it's always you know good to get out and do a little bit of fishing. Whoa! Look at this. Uh, Kevin caught a fish. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. nice one, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Threw the fish on, barbecued it up on board. Ready for some fish, and uh, we ate it up. It was pretty tasty. It's gonna be a good night. <laughs>